How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and welcome back to Century Night Tactics. There's something I wanted to take a look at really quickly before we dive back into the game. This game's only been out for less than like 24 hours and already the biggest piece of criticism that people have had has to do with the control scheme. And so right now you click and drag to do everything, move your units, heal your units, attack, collect loot, everything like that. And the main complaint was... This works really well for a mobile-based game when you're playing on like a phone or a tablet. It doesn't make as much sense playing on a computer. And so what do you know, less than 24 hours later, these guys have a new control scheme. If you're new to the game, I believe the default will now be the mouse clicking. Whereas if you've played the game before like me, you're going to need to switch from drag and drop to mouse click. And so what they've done, you can still uh, scroll through your heroes with tab just like you would before. But then... If you wanted to drag to move your character, you can just right click to that location rather than dragging and your character will just move there on their own. So it's a lot more similar to like the action RPG style gameplay that people are used to and I haven't tried it myself yet but it sounds like it's a little more intuitive and a little more true to form than maybe uh, the original control scheme was. So I'm looking forward to trying it out and it really is just a testament to how much these guys care. Look, there we go. You can just right click. So let me just... Uh, let me just tab through heroes, right click and everything. You know what, that actually, it, it's going to take some getting used to because I've already played the game a little bit. Um, other, like the regular way. Uh, so the drag, the drag and drop is completely gone when I, when I switch like that. Oh shit, I guess I should have been, uh, paying closer attention to what I was doing. <laughs> I was too busy fucking around with things. Oh shit, I forgot I have the rogue on my team now. But anyways, uh, just the turnover of how quickly they realized or like recognized that the game needed this new additional control scheme and that it's it's just what people were asking for and they were willing to change the gameplay to fit this demand that players were having. I just have so much respect for that and the speed at which they did it was just absolutely incredible. If that doesn't convince you to support these developers, then I don't know, you just must not appreciate indie games. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's such a wide statement to make. I don't mean to be insulting you guys or anything. It's just I'm just so excited to see them caring so much about making this game the best it can be. So there I have my second heirloom. Now I just got to go return that to the villager who I promised to help. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the drawbacks are to having characters die on me like that if they because uh, it's team experience, right? So it's not like they're gonna have less experience. They just they just didn't get to survive that battle, I guess. Let's run back to town quickly and give that guy his good old heirloom and just see see what I get out of that in return. Oh, look at this. When you go to enter, enter a location, active quests in this stage one. So just a little reminder for myself that I had something that needed doing in this location. Let's go. His grayed out question mark is now yellow, so I know that I have something, uh, like an update that needs dealing with. You found my family heirlooms. I I'm speechless. And to keep my end of the deal, please take my father's bracelet. I'll live without it. I insist. The rabbit's foot, a rare trinket, grants a lucky buff to all party members when equipped increases the chance to find rarer equipment in loot bags by 10%. Awesome. I just, I love finding loot. It's like my favorite part of RPGs and stuff is just just gathering loot so I'm excited to have that shreds of letter rabbit's foot all right well I gotta find someone let's give that to the rogue I don't know it's it said it's for the whole party it doesn't I guess it doesn't really matter who I give it to so there we go we give, give it to the rogue and there there we go we have a little uh, buff in the top top right corner here showing showing that that's permanently activated this cemetery seems odd. I, I, I feel like I must come back to it at some point. And even the location it's in is just like a larger cross. I wonder if that was intentional. But it's, it seems weird to have that in the corner there and not include it in any way. Uh, I don't want to go in the cave. Wait, but before yeah, before it totally it said level 2 uh, recommended. But I honestly, it honestly doesn't seem like there's there was anything in there. There was just a, a group of people, right? I guess you have to be, uh, you have to have, oh fuck, 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 damn it. I guess you have to have a guy selected who is actually, like, a fighter before, uh, it, like, I was right-clicking using the Enchantress, Priestess? Enchantress? I think it's Enchantress. I was right-clicking on enemies while I had her selected, and you don't, 
you just, like shift clicking too, but you don't send the whole group to attack apparently unless you're selecting a fighter. These trolls l remind me a lot of the uh, yeah. the trolls from like Warcraft Three, but they they were also totally in earlier earlier Century Night installments. Fuck, God, come on! Okay. I'm not I'm not managing managing my team very well. I was trying to use the tab tab and quick a lot, and it seems like I'm not very good at managing that. I feel like my mouse controls are gonna be quick enough that I, I can probably get away with just just using left and right mouse clicks rather than trying to tab through things because that really was not helping me critical strike chance uh, tightly locked box upon shaking it you can hear something rattling around inside right clock to un uh, unlock with a mysterious key I that's the thing that I bought that I was excited about <laughs> spending literally every dime that I had on so now we, we gotta go see what it is right we gotta go Use that key. Awesome. The bandit's coat. Legendary leather armor. Look at that. I'm a fucking legend. A leather cloak said to bring great fortune to the bandits and thieves that don it. 26 armor, but minus 24 health? What? Oh, the, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in like the 200s and 100s range and stuff, so maybe that's not like too much health lost. That's a lot of armor. Speed, critical strike. I don't really see an armor stat. While well, wearing this armor, your party your party is granted a fortuitous buff, increasing the chance of finding rare equipment and loot bags. So there we go. I'm gonna give that to the to the rogue because it's like a it's a bandit's cloak that just seems to make the most sense to me. And what do you know? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one more thing boosting my ability to find rare equipment. And I better give this ring to someone. Critical strike chance. Uh, give that to the marksman. It's a ring of accuracy, marksman. I think that makes sense, right? That matches up. Ooh, I'm gonna level up. <laughs> very soon here uh let, let's go let's go in here now now that i helped that family or whatever can i can i go in here and have things to fight like it seems let's like it's go. just an empty cave right uh, it seemed like it would be worth exploring that seemed like it would be a fun thing to me lucky and fortuitous it's kind of funny that it, it treats that as two separate buffs rather than just having like a times two or something they both provided 10 percent, but maybe sometimes things are 10 and and 15 or whatever so you can't just have a times two but it seems like they would have you know they would avoid the redundancy of just having it twice like that it doesn't make a huge difference or anything it just might be a little clearer maybe this is clear I don't know it's, I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm not a very good game designer all right let's let's do a better fucking job of managing my units here which I have not been doing a great job of okay what the hell? Who did, did the rogue die? Okay, that's my rogue. That's my rogue. That gets confusing when I'm fighting a team of rogues. I, I just think that I've already let everyone die. <laughs> Alright. Do, do loot bags automatically drop with the last enemy that you kill? It seems like I've been averaging one loot bag and it seems to come towards the end. I, I don't know for sure if that's the case. Seems, seems kind of like it. Tunic, gold, broken skull, unknown fractured skull, sell to, it's just something that I can just scrap. I think I'm getting better at the team management. I didn't make use of anyone's special abilities. I gotta keep that in mind and make better use of that. Now I get to invest in more talents though. I'm gonna go with uh, Wing Clip. The knight's auto attacks now have a chance to inflict a maim debuff, reducing movement speed of affected enemies over a short period of time. So whenever I'm not looking after him, he'll have, the, he'll have a chance of doing that. Reduces cooldown, increases holing, healing, healing power. <laughs> the holy healing power. 30 second cooldown, let's let's reduce the cooldown a little bit, use that more often. Wicked Strike, channels energy into her blade and unleashes a strike dealing damage to the target. Seems kind of similar to the marksman thing, but it's it's melee instead. Increased damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna go further into the pickpocket. I have I have 20% chance of finding rare things, and then I'll have a 60% chance of finding extra loot bags. I like the I like the sounds of being able to gather just ridiculous amounts of loot. Loot are my favorite part of the games, like I said, so I might I might as well really delve into that. And I also just realized this is the first time I've <laughs> I'm advancing these guys beyond where the last episode ended. I basically just went back and refought a bunch of things that I had already been fighting before. So that's uh, I it, it's good to be moving forward, I suppose. <laughs> but I learned new things. I've improved. Oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely liking this control scheme more. It just it just feels easier. It's smoother. It's it's um my reaction time overall is just better. I I just feel like I can I can manage my team that much easier. 
it's it's surprising to me almost that the developers throughout were just like, I oh, will just commit to this other version of the gameplay. Because it must have come up at some point, like, hey, do we want to mess around with maybe different versions of this gameplay, maybe clicking based? And they were like, nah, let's just keep it consistent. But you got to respect the fact that as soon as people asked for it, they put it in. Ring of Power increases user's power. And second loot bag already paying off, uh, just some scraps. Alright, so I guess I'm not going to find something cool in every single bag of loot that I come across. Oh, I was I was thinking, uh, like, there was no one, All everyone has something except for the priestess right now. Oh, I called her enchantress earlier, that's my bad. And I was just like, oh, I, I guess I'm going to have to move something around because there's no point giving a power item to a priestess. But then you look at this here, all damage and healing dealt is affected by your hero's power. So that that's like a good way of organizing it. So now it is worthwhile to still upgrade her power. Look at this, a chest. Chest plate, gold, and uh, I'll, I mean, I'll take the gold. Let's see if this chest plate's better than what I have. 50, 55 plus 5 health. Upgrade to uncommon tier? How, how do I... Oh, I, I'm right. I have to go like the blacksmith or town or whatever to upgrade things. So not something I'm going to worry about right now. Let's go. Uh, I'm liking the loot management so far. Things are coming in at like uh, a fast enough rate that I'm I'm regularly upgrading my guys, which always feels nice. It, I I like finding loot often enough that you get to feel the effects. You get to feel your party improving on like a regular basis. You know, if if you're only finding new loot every 10 minutes or or more like when you have four characters like this if you were like rarely finding new loot you wouldn't really feel like you were advancing very well so i think there's i think there's a good balance struck there so far oh come on guys <laughs> gotta, gotta help her out there she's more or less defenseless oh loot bag don't want to forget that all right let's see if those robes are better than i have 11 armor yeah and and then plus two health perfect Look at that, they, I got these dusty gray old robes, and now I got these these cool, white, clean robes. Clean and, and fresh, and ready to go cover in the bloods of our enemies. Oh shit, was there a second loot bag hidden there? I could see something sparkling in the in the heaps of corpses. And I just thought, eh, gross, I don't, really, I don't really want to go rooting around in that. Another mysterious graveyard that is like... Just on the other side of this short little hill and tree, yet somehow I can't cross between them. I want to go romp around in the water some more. I guess that's the edge of the thing, though. It seems kind of funny that I can walk into the water but not beyond this. There's no real physical in-game barrier or anything preventing me from doing that. So you know what? Next time, guys, I'm going to go adventure into this castle with a nice bright pink t uh, peaks on its towers there. We got some nice... Nice uh, king in there, or or queen, or whoever who's got who's got a who's got a pension for the for a little pizzazz, for a little presentation in their castle. They decided they didn't want. Hey, that was a. I, it looked like there was a weird little thing there, but I, I I wasn't gonna draw attention to it in case it just happened to be a weird graphical thing. But look at that! Look how sweet that was. Secrets, guys. You get to find secrets when you watch this series. <laughs> Someday I'll learn how to do consistent length outros, but in the meantime, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon, and we can go poke around with this when, when we come back in the next episode.